you leave that rink, it's a long overdue for them to get a win. Like, this is what was really evident. It's a pretty wild stat. The Leafs have played 10 games now in the playoffs. They're 4-1 and one on the road. They're 1-4 and four at home. And you can look at that both ways going into the game tomorrow. You can look at it glass half empty. They shrink up at home. They get nervous at home. I don't know. Is it the energy in the crowd or lack thereof? Something goes against them. That's glass half empty that it could apply tomorrow night. Glass half full is at some point that's got to turn. Right. At some point, you got to show up in your home barn and come out flying. And I will I will credit them for their defensive effort. You referenced the amount of block shots because that's the difficult way to win. You win you win six five and it's a shinny game. Like that can just be you got some bounces, you got some offensive chances, a couple breakaways. Yeah. You know, it's still a win. But it may be a win where you feel like, well, we didn't really leave it on the line. It was just both goalies were terrible. To win in the fashion the Leafs did last night is like a very difficult way to grind out a playoff win, but very necessary at the same time. Yeah, and that's and what that, it was that last is, night. That is game. a blueprint for them going forward. We, we, we referenced before on this show the stretch they had in Edmonton where they went in there and spanked them, I think, three times in a row. And – We've talked also about the different ways you got to win if you're going to go on a run. They've had the comeback wins against Tampa Bay, the overtime victories. Can they bottle what they did last night and string their best as far as effort and all the other things, the block shots? Can they put a run together because that would be their blu- blueprint to win games? Wow. Maybe they have that approach tomorrow night and they blow them out. Who knows? It's just... They've got something there. They just have to do it again, even better tomorrow night. Wow, that's and then they might scare say. Florida a little bit. It's got to be better. Like, honestly, it, as much as you like last night's game, it's got to be 25% more because you know Florida's going to try and adjust too. I thought they passed up. I thought they played not to lose last night. They they played like they had four chances at it. Yeah. And they, they were passing up shots on goal. They were trying to make cute plays. They you know, and, and like I say, they did get a lot of possession time as far as shooting pucks. It was blocked, which is good, but that's I think Florida's gonna have a bigger effort. The Leafs have to have a bigger effort too, because it's you build on that, but a two one game tomorrow, to your point, Hayes, it might be a five four game. It might be yep. high event it's game. Probably overdue on for that. one of those. And they right? got two guys get off the Schneid last night in the series. There's another two guys waiting and you throw Ryan O'Reilly in there, maybe he can kick in some offense. So there's some cards that are stacked in the deck for them that can come alive tomorrow and be a a massive factor in the game. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. that's that's the way, you know, you can send a message tomorrow night is if you come out flying, it feels like we say this before every game, but, you know, there's an explosion of offense that you would think would be there. It's not like the Leafs had a ton of great chances. Either team really had a ton of great chances. It was a very low event game last night. And Bobrovsky, again, only gives up two. And at some point, you would think, like, that game's there for him to kind of implode. And that doesn't mean he's just going to fall off a cliff and be awful. But at some point, you would think, this guy's been so steady, so good, they've been very defensively sound, that if you can, if you can break through that, like, if you, if you can win big tomorrow night, it doesn't matter how you win. But if you win big, then it's even more about, like, momentum and pressure. And, you know, the Leafs are due. For that, I think for their fans, like their home fans, there's a lot of people that pay a lot of money to go to these games at home, and they've been terrible at home. Like they're one and four. The one win they had, game two against Tampa, and that was a blowout. Like they showed up to play early and often. You know, they had their foot on the gas right from puck drop. But one in four, it just it, that that cannot continue. Like mm-hmm. it cannot continue. Nor does it you, make you, sense. It well, doesn't we- make sense for a good team that was very good on home ice all year. And, la- and listen, they were very sound defensively all year as well. Like, team defense was, was a, a positive for them throughout the year.